But the theme you know for, for this year, or rather the coming uh, uh, session in, in January, is, a, is an interesting one, responsive and responsible leadership. And draws to the attention of the uh, relatively elite crowd that you're going to have there. Uh, the realities of uh, the global dynamics at this point in time. The dynamics which have been floating around for a while, we have, we've talked about it, both in the 2016 budget and in the MTVPS, and those being the dangers of inequality, GDP growth not being shared evenly in a society where the top creams off a lot more, however you define the top, than people at the bottom, and the bottom will be defined differently, uh, blue collar working class uh, or middle class in different types of countries, and in our case, those who find themselves in, in poverty. Thirdly, uh, high levels of mistrust between elites and, and citizens, and that's leading to a particular brand of, of politics. And uh, that globalization has, in fact, whilst giving the world many benefits, has also created dynamics that, in inverted commas, has left out a lot of people. And you can see the results of that in Brexit, dynamics in Europe, dynamics in the United States, which has uh, consequences for their democratic processes, and indeed for their democratic model uh, as, as well. And the appeal, it appears, that is being made by the Davos organizers is can we get back to an era where we can demonstrate as global leaders from all sectors whether we have the ability to once again act in a coordinated way. Coming towards closer to home, in that context, you will know the kind of partnership that we've been trying to build across the stakeholders that are here in various forms. And we're not going to repeat uh, uh, our uh, achievements so far, but it's a partnership that works. And it's a partnership that will up its game as we go into the new year, begin to come up with newer ideas, which uh, South Africans generally, uh, particularly those that are in the middle classes, working class and poor, uh, begin to feel the difference, can palpate the difference. Because we, talking alone is not uh, good enough. It is when citizens experience positive change, when they see changes that make a material difference in their life situation or in their work situation, that they know that change has come. Uh, otherwise, all of this is theory of one kind or another. So in lifting our game as we go into the next year, and that's a conversation that we will start uh, soon with Mr. Mabuza as my co-coordinator and other ministers uh, like Minister Patel and our colleagues in the trade union movement, is how, how do we begin to make a bigger difference through this partnership within this kind of Davos context. But, but we've had this approach in South Africa generated, if you like, made in South Africa, uh, or if you want to call it proudly South Africa. Uh, as, as part of our brand.